hair cancer. Really sorry about the uh, delaying all the uploads, but I'm back on it now. So I'm going to be doing uh, online readings every two weeks and uploading them. Um, as we all know, we, we're coming into your full moon on the 10th, Friday the 10th. Um, so it's all about emotional releasing. It's also a lunar eclipse, which opens the portal to even more. Uh, it blesses us to allow you to release more. Uh, so hopefully we're all going into a brand new. Anything that's dragged over from 2019 is now time to clear. So I'm going to go straight into your spiritual tarot. I'll be reading for, for, for the next two weeks. Um, it could go back. I've just done passes and I think that went back for the past seven days. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, if this doesn't resonate, check your uh, moon rising and Venus. Venus if uh, it's love. Um, as I say, I don't do specific readings. I do general whatever spirit archangel whatever they want me to tell you so if it's going to be a love reading it's going to be a love reading if it's going to be finances it's going to be finances but i do always start off with the spiritual tarot to see what's going on with you as a collective spiritually so for cancer the situation for my cancers recognition and reward so the situation is it's time to be recognized for your worth are you is it time for you to recognize your own worth or is it time are you being recognized you know for something good within yourself it's time for rewards. So what's challenging this then? What's the challenge to get to this? The sacral chakra. It's time to be recognised. I feel like I'm speaking to some singles, cancers, or cancers that are in a bit of a relationship where it's gone a little bit stale. Uh, maybe sex last dwindled off a little bit. <laughs> um, you want to be recognised. You want to be dated. You want to be, uh, you know... Not taken for granted. That's what I'm kind of getting. A bit weird, off two cards, but... Why is this coming around now? Spiritual strength. That's nice. So spiritual strength, recognition and reward. Spirit, spirit are, are saying that you deserve this. You, you know, they're opening the doors. I do feel like you've been, ta you've been taken for granted. Yeah, recent past, the moon's already playing a part. So the, the shadow card is the, is the moon in, the ta in this tarot. Um, so the shadow self, you know, arguing a, a push up. I did also just get, though, um, health. Like, we, there's someone waiting on good news for health. You might not realise that it's good news, but the, there's some kind of good news coming for health, and it could have been worrying you. Um, especially with a woman, it could have been around the womb area. Um womb sexual organs that type of thing um but spirit is, i'm kind of getting that there's good news coming because i'm feeling that there's been a, a emotional worry you know like between ego and spirit i always like to say spirit's got the upper hand there you know there's been some worry so i'm kind of getting two different messages here um so let, let me see where i'm going at present rest and rejuvenation so I am getting, I am sticking with what I was getting earlier about some Cancerians are in relationships and they're feeling a bit taken for granted, um, and I'm feeling that that's gonna that's gonna work out fine. Either that, or you're single and you you're finding your own worth. You're doing, you know, you're doing the work. You've you've not been. I'm getting two different stories for yours. Um, you started to do the work, you're facing your shadow self. Now it's time to rest and rejuvenate. With the health one, I feel like we've had a bit of a health scare and now we're resting, we've had the good news or we're just about to get the good news and we can chill. We can, it, It's time to rest, it's time to, uh, you know, heal. Near future love begins, yeah. So for my singles and my ones that are in relationships that have gone a bit stale, I feel like Spirit is saying the fire is going to come back. Yeah, you know, just take your time. It's going to come back. Put in the work as well, but put in your boundaries. Where I'm going with health, good news is on its way. Good news is on its way. This happiness, these rainbows, you know, it's all okay. Uh, you know, if it don't resonate, like I say, always check your moon rising and Venus, but I, I can only say what I'm getting. Um... So your power in this situation is moving on. So we're moving on from a phase, from a darker phase, a time of worry or a time of not feeling good enough. 
uh, we're moving on to brighter times. So spiritually, you are moving on, whether it's relationship or health. Uh, you're moving forward. I'm kind of not getting career and money here. I'm getting more health, relationships, even mental health, you know, anxiety, depression, you know, the low times, especially with shadow, uh, you know, it's not an ass. Outside influences. What's influencing this from the outside? Fulfillment of wishes. You've got three nouns here as well, so you're definitely ending cycles. Fulfillment of wishes. Someone is coming in to fulfil this wish, whether it's a, a partner or whether it's a health, you know, a doctor, a nurse, a specialist, you know, someone who can see your worth or who wants to give you this good news so that you can move forward with it. So I do like it. It's a nice, nice reading. Your ho hopes or fears. Well, it is a fear, trapped in fear. And that's what I'm feel I'm feeling here. You know, like this... Do a worry or you've had something in the past where you've it's made you anxious or depressed or go inside your own mind arguing with yourself and i kind of feel spirit are saying it you can let that go now you, you can let that that mental torment go um i'm not seeing anything to worry about i'm seeing good news coming in your outcome is seven stand your ground <laughs> passage just ended up on sevens as well so we've got to stand your ground, which I do like. But I think you need to stand your ground with yourself, where fear is concerned. Um, and also boundaries within relationships. Bound definitely boundaries within relationships. There is a few out there that I'm talking about health. Um, and when I'm looking at stand your ground, I'm feeling more like, believe it. You know, I feel like you're worrying about your health. Maybe like anxiety, I know the symptoms, I, I do get anxiety and the symptoms can sometimes make you feel like you're having a stroke or a heart attack or, you know, you're losing your marbles, uh, you know, that type of thing. Yeah, clarify and stand your ground, we've got the... <laughs> we've got the throat chakra, so the need to communicate, you need to speak, so if this is about a partner... Or if this is about your health, or you've got worries or anything, or it could be around the throat area, um, especially if it's anxiety and things like that, that can usually be the throat chakra being closed. Uh, so let it out, speak, speak your boundaries, speak your boundaries to your body. I am not willing to feel this anymore. You know, if it's with a partner, I'm not willing to be made to feel like this anymore. Speak, speak your truth, speak your truth to yourself. Uh, you know, you deserve love. You deserve to love yourself as well. Love your health, love your body, love your mind, love your spirit. Just give me one more. Oh, you've got two. Now you've got two sevens, same as passes. Yeah, choose wisely. Options. So you've got options now. Options are opening. How are you going to treat yourself? How do you want to be treated? You're not an option. That's what I kind of want to say. Um, whereas it's health wise, I feel like there's these options that you can do, there's other things that you can there's things that you can look into to do to but I'm feeling like there's good news on its way. Uh, there's definitely good news on its way because then we get the new beginnings card. We can shut the door to this crap, basically. You're starting a brand new fresh start as well. I'm you, you're starting on a brand new journey. You can leave all this. And, and spiritually, it's like self-love. Self-love is going to fix any health conditions. I feel like there's good news on its way. And spirit are letting you know. It's just fear. Release the fear. Mm. Sorry, door keeps ringing. So, angel cards for cancer. Four of Earth. So, being too frivolous or too cautious with money, good business decisions, giving to the Lord's less fortunate. Four of Earth, though. It's also about the need to let go of things that don't serve you, so then you can experience more. The challenge to that, going through your awakening. Looking at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill, it's important to be yourself. It's important to find yourself as well when you go through, especially when you go through your awakening. I've only done parties in cancer and they've both been very like, spiritual. <clears throat> um, it could be the need to get on top of your money this year. 2020 is the year of creating like, 
foundations and stuff, it could be the need to get on top of your health, uh, even if it's your mental health, especially if we're going through your awakening, because, you know, we, that can muddle us all up. <laughs> I've got two. So why is it coming around? Renewal, which is the 20, we're going into the 20 year. Uh, review and evaluate a favourable assessment of the facts. It's now time to move in a new direction. On top of that, we've got the nine of earth, enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. So it's the independence card though. So now I'm kind of feeling with the love aspect, have we reviewed and assessed the situation and it's time to move on, it's time to spend some time alone because we weren't being trapped the way we were, we should have been. We didn't have the boundaries set that we should have set. Have you woken up to this? You know, you deserve better. Is your partner waking up to realise that you deserve better or you're off? Recent past, competing goals, bothersome details and conflict with others, yeah. So that could be a conflict within your own mind. So, yeah, I'm getting two different readings here. And now I'm going more into, like, a relationship. With the spiritual tarot, I would definitely talk to someone with health conditions and this as well. So it's kind of, it's going over again. So in the past, we've arguing, conflict, you know, competing. Um, even if this is about self-love, like, feeling the need to compete, looking at other people wishing you were them, wishing you looked like them, you know, something, you know, like that, something bothering you, um, bothersome details if your partner's not giving you enough attention, um, you know, there's definitely been conflict. At present, though, you've got a spiritual card again, we've got unity, traditional viewpoints and methods, spiritual organisations, seek out mentors and like-minded friends, you're definitely going through your awakening, you're probably pulling in soul family, people that will understand you. It's like you're pulling away from people. I think people are overstepping the boundaries. Yeah, in the near future, we've got balance. So you're going to be restoring the balance, balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing. I feel like you, my single Cancerians, we've got two, well, we've got three fives here, actually. Five, five, and four and one, five. So you're going through a major change, but it's a good change. It restores some kind of balance. You're getting rid of any type of conflict, uh, which is good, uh, to restore balance. But I think it's more balanced within yourself. So, yeah, you could have got out of a relationship or you might be trying to balance the relationship that you're in. Uh, we've got four major arcanas on the table here. It's like you're trying to decide whether you're to be single or not. Or if you're single, can I even be bothered? Uh, you know, shall I stay single for a while? I'm ready for this because it's saying we're at perfect timing. So your power in this situation, your power in this situation is to end what's stressing you out. The ten of fire, too much work to accept help from others. Life is out of balance, stress-related health concerns. I was kind of feeling that in your psychic tarot, but that anxiety, stress, tension, you know, there's a situation that's really stressing, it can be stressing you out, and this ain't for all Cancerians, do you know what I mean? But your power is, the good thing is, your power is to get, you're getting out of that energy. So it's it's all about recovery. This is all about recovery. Outside influences, seven, <laughs> being stalked by sevens. Seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. So... The, the seeds are planted for your recovery, you, you know, and whatever it is, if it's you're worrying about the relationship you're in or you're worrying about a health issue, don't, there's recovery, there's healing. I've been feeling that all the way through, so I'm definitely picking up on someone who's got health issues, but then I'm also picking up on relationships with, with your cards. Hopes or fears, oh, that came out fast. Ace of fire, ooh, you want some excitement. Exciting new opportunities, change your life now. You want ex excitement. And like I was saying earlier, if it's a relationship that's gone stale, we need that passion again. And I'm not being crude or anything, but I always, it's ace of fire, ace of bonds. I always call it my dick pic. <laughs> so sorry if I offend anyone there, but I do, you know, no filter. But yeah, it's like you want some excitement. You need some excitement in your life. You're going through your awakening. It's time to get excited about life again. Don't let anxiety rule your life. Oh, 
and you are the water sign and your outcome is the ten of water a content and rewarding family life your emotional material needs being met and a trustworthy relationship so whether that's you building up on this relationship um or venturing off out there and finding a relationship that suits you it could even be the relationship with yourself uh working on the relationship with yourself in the health aspect i want to say someone is in healing in health relationship aspect i feel like there's a relationship gone stale you're either thinking do i stay or do i go uh, but i feel like it can be rectified um passion can be brought back in you just need to sit down together and speak about it if you're single you've learned from past relationships uh you've learned how to love yourself putting them boundaries in there could be a few dates getting uh sorted out in january <laughs> i love it i want to get what i clarify on that actually so we've got the two of pentacles oh my god your cards are reading quite like parties oh and the four of wands the 11 11 so it's, you come out with that juggling to we've got peace and contentment you know wishes granted you might start seeing numbers um saturday the 11th that might be a nasty is it is it saturday the 11th yeah Ooh, and the lovers. Are you dealing with a Gemini or are we bringing in a new love? But that that looks like twin flames. That looks like twin flames. I'm going love. I'm going love. And if you've got anxiety or depression or anything like that. So sorry about that. I need to get a camera. My kids are like stalkers. Uh, I really do hope that helps someone um, and like I say if it doesn't resonate check your moon rising and Venus Hello. bye Hello.